Okay, back to my Civil War battlefield site I uh, detect here and had to go back to my car and charge my phone. I got two signals I wanted to get on video, so I didn't complete the digs. Um, I'll get over to them here and I'll show you what we got. Pretty excited and may have uh, found something else, a little trick of detecting this site. There's some overhead power lines that just really, really threw my signals off and uh, found some settings that work a lot better. So anyway, um, got my first signal here, first target, and down on the hole you'll see still embedded in the dirt here. I think we're gonna have a mini ball or a musket ball. Um, so let's finish the dig here and see what we got. got it loose ah we have a musket ball awesome uh, I've dug several mini balls from this site including uh, some that I think are pistol rounds but this is my first musket ball from the battle so pretty cool um, one to go to the collection so I'm gonna fill this hole in and we'll move over to the other hole uh, in fact, I'll go over to the other hole and then I'm going to come back and fill this one. Just keep keep this rolling here. Pretty excited about this. Really, uh... Okay, here's the other one. And I already broke it loose. And you can see here, this one looks like a mini ball. Uh, this is a little different than the other ones I've dug. I've dug a uh, three ringer and... Uh, you can see where this has impacted the dirt. And uh, it's just a really neat site. Um, found some accounts uh, that actually some of the soldiers wrote after the battle. And one of them described the battle as raining bullets from the sky, that the ground looked like it had rained bullets from the sky. And uh, so uh, over 150 years ago, this was uh, part of that story. So, um, love digging relics, um, finding history, and uh, add this one to the collection as well. Um, hopefully, find some more of these. Uh, I've really only found three or f two or three really good examples like this before. Uh, with I was out here with my explorer. And uh, now with the E-Track, uh, I was able to adjust the sensitivity and uh, um, do some of uh, the ground balancing where you pump the uh, coil up and down um, to get some more stable threshold tones. Because uh, before it was just really bouncy out here. So pretty cool, exciting, and uh, we'll get another video up here soon. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We got another good target here and uh, this is oddly enough a different site uh, this is another site where I've dug some mini balls uh, Civil War um, than what I did the other night there that uh, mini ball and musket ball and this is also my uh, first musket ball from this other site uh, I've dug three mini balls at this site first musket ball so pretty cool um, doing good on the Civil War relics here Okay guys, um, finally did it here. This is the one baby. That's right, I just found one million dollars. I'm speechless. Okay, I'm super excited here. Uh, got permission to hunt a site where there used to be two old churches. And it's a funeral home now. Uh, but these churches date clear back mid 1800s. Um, so I've been searching here a little bit. All I've found is a 26 Wheaty so far, but just got something here pretty cool. Um, down in this hole, got this tag, and can't see what it says yet, but it looks really old. Um, so I'm anxious to get that home and clean it up and see what's on it. So pretty cool, see what else we can find. 
Okay guys, here's some relics from the uh, hunt that I did from the site uh, with the two, um, used to have two churches from the 1800s on it. Um, it's now a, a funeral home site. Um, that Actually, it's been there I think from the 20s. So uh, Anyway, here's a few of the relics I found. Uh, I've got this one little buckle. And again, on any of this stuff, if you guys know specifics on what any of it would be used for or anything, I'd be interested to hear. Uh, so anyway, I got this one little buckle, um, probably a uh, piece off a saddle or something, I am guessing. <coughs> got this little tag, uh, it's got the number 78 on it. Uh, here's the one item that I wasn't sure what it is. Uh, looks like had a clasp of some sort. I don't know if this would have been off a necklace or something. Um, I do think it's got, uh, it's just plated. Um, some of it's wearing off there. Um, not sure what the base metal is, maybe copper or brass, but uh, like that. Um, now this was actually uh, from one of the sites um, that I dug some Civil War relics, so I'm wondering, this almost looks like uh, some type of piece off a gun or something. I'm not sure. Um, looks like maybe a thumb lever or something. It's got a hole down the center, a little slide of some sort. Anyway, that's kind of neat. Um, some kind of little decorative ornamental piece. Got a uh, top here. I don't know if this would have been off a lantern or a watch or it almost looks like a screw, screw top there. A thumb screw on the top of it. Got this little piece. Um, I was thinking it had, yeah, on this side it's got some uh, decorative, I don't know how well it shows up in the video, but it had some decorative stuff on the sides. I don't know if this would have been a hair clip or something. Copper looks like. Um, I've dug something like this before. And I don't know if this would have been a, um, it's got a design on one side. I don't know if that would have been like a picture frame or, it's almost like a shield design. It's kind of bent here, but looks like something would have went in the middle. Again, it looks like copper. Then we got this, uh, just top off a lamp. Got a few neat relics there. Um, oh, almost forgot. It's probably the neatest one yet. Um, again, I don't know if you can see uh, what this says. It actually says Kansas City on it. It's this neat tag. I got this in the video there. Um, and I don't know um, if this was... I'm really not sure what this would have been off of. Yeah. Trying to get a little better uh, picture of it here. There. You can see it says Kansas City on it, which is close to here. So that was kind of neat. Don't know if that would have been some type of mail tag or a badge or something. Uh, the back looks like it used to have uh, like somewhere here, almost looks like a pin, like it would have been a pin, um, like some sort of badge. So uh, it's actually fairly close to a railroad, so I don't know if that would have been a something off that railroad or mail. Also found two items that were pretty neat. This one you can't really tell what it is. I think I dug this one first, but then I dug this one next. I don't know if you can see on here. It looks like it's got some initials or something stamped on it. It says like it's either M-P-R-Y or M-A-R-Y. I don't know if it says Mary or if it's M-P with a period R-Y. It's kind of hard to tell. But it looks like this is a lead seal. It's got a uh, piece of iron wire or something going through it. And I think this was used as uh, some sort of security seal, I'm guessing. Um, if you guys have any other Where's thoughts on that, I'd be interested. Mm -hmm. interested here, but I'm pretty yeah. sure this is another one. It's just you can't make out what it would say on it but it's also got kind of a wire that goes through it so those are kind of neat had never dug one of those before
Um, and then I got two of them at the same site. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, have another video up here soon. Thanks.